just how bad are things going to get here in the near future? <laughs> um, the answer is I don't know. Uh, America right now is in a very weak, very vulnerable position. And uh, there's a whole lot of things that could happen to this nation which would be very bad. Um, and I'd like to know everybody's thoughts on this. I know I have people from other countries. You're, you have a unique perspective because you're from the outside looking in at America and you're seeing, you know, our uh, politicians are decaying and decrepit and senile and losing their minds. Uh, the violence in the streets here in America. I mean, this, uh, you know, America is an insane asylum run by the inmates, like Lester Roloff used to say. Um, this this nation, nation is just falling apart. Um, anybody can see that. And uh, so I'd like to hear people's thoughts. What are you seeing? What are you hearing? To undo the gate here. Since we're about ready to go. About ready to leave. But uh, give me your thoughts. What are you thinking? Uh, Matthew chapter 24, Jesus talks about Wars and rumors of wars, uh, famines, pestilence, earthquakes in diverse places. Um, so we know that that's going to happen. Let me switch. Let me go this way here. So there you go. Sorry about zipping around there. But uh, we know that those things will happen because Jesus said that they would. And uh, Jesus is almighty God. And... Um, but uh, you can see actually one of the trees is starting to change there. The orange one right up there. Pretty neat looking. Always love to see autumn and all the leaves changing collars. And I know collars. I say collar wrong. You know, it's not collar as in the collar of your shirt. Color or something. I guess you're supposed to say it. <laughs> Whatever. But um, what are you seeing out there? What are you hearing? Are you seeing uh, fuel prices going up? Are you seeing shortages in the grocery stores? I've heard a lot of that. I've seen it myself. Are you seeing this thing where they stock the grocery shelves and they have the cans or the food right up at the front of the, you know, thing and you go to get it and, you, oh, it's completely empty behind? Um, let me know. I'm very interested in the comments section. What are you seeing? Um, the uh, uh, scam of the, uh, <coughs> from 2020 to 2023 can't say it you know because you get banned for speaking the truth but the the uh, whole thing i'm hearing a lot of stuff about that coming back i um, hearing about um signs being printed and whatever for new um things you know required in stores what are you hearing what are you seeing are you seeing any of that out there uh, what's it like in your area are you seeing uh i mean we have the people that are that are wearing you know permanently they just can't take them off because they're afraid of breathing uh normal air you know they lived that way for most of their life but now you can't live without your special covering uh it's a holy way of showing that you are submissive to the current regime and it's funny because if somebody like trump would come in and say you need to wear them those people probably would take them off <laughs> so <laughs> craziness but let me know um How's crime in your area? Uh, just to let you know, around here, we're not really seeing much of an uptick in crime because uh, there aren't that many people, thankfully. But I know um, in the town of Holton, uh, northeast of us, uh, I've been hearing about there's an increase in the smash and grab type of things where people smash the rear window out of a vehicle and they, they take things. Um, are you seeing that type of thing in your area? Um, Gas prices are going up there right around $4 a, a gallon. Again, high $3, heading towards $4 a gallon. I've been seeing out in California, it's $5.99 or something for the premium, but heading you know, right around $5 a gallon for the regular. Um, now that you know the BRICS nations control 80% of all oil production you know, uh, in the world, uh, that's going to not work out so good for America. But um, let me know. Signs of the end times. We're supposed to watch and be sober and vigilant. Um, what are you seeing out there? 
I am very curious. I want to read the comments and and uh, it's really important, you know, to see that. And again, that's one of the big advantages of fellowshipping online. Um, I mean, it's a disadvantage because we can't sit there beside each other and actually talk and and see things, and, you know, and, and explain things and whatever else. We don't have that uh, interaction, which is kind of a downside. But the good side is, if we were all in this area, we might be tempted to just think, well, there's nothing bad going on in the world because we're not seeing a lot of it here. Um, but, you know, my viewers are spread out all over the world, all over America, up into Canada, over European countries and things, um, even in Africa and, and whatever. Um, let me know what you're seeing. Heard about a, a military coup over in Africa. I forget what country it was yesterday, but Niger, there's some issues there. There was some military stuff going on there and the Wagner group, you know, I don't mean an orchestra group. <laughs> These guys play different instruments. Uh, ones that go boom, boom. Um, but, uh, you know, they're in Africa doing things, which my theory on that, you can again, let me know your thoughts. My theory on that is that uh, before a lot of the nations in Africa can be brought into BRICS, they need to do some military coup type of stuff so that America cannot respond and force people to stay in NATO or force nations to, you know, be neutral or whatever else. The BRICS nations are going to consolidate power and they'll do it with military coups and whatever else. Again, World War III, we are in World War III. Let me know your thoughts on that. Um, so, just uh, very curious to see what people are saying out there because, I mean, even though you can trust mainstream media, they always tell the truth, I'd still like to hear people's opinions. You know, little sarcasm there, um, if you can't figure that out. Uh, you know, we can't trust mainstream media, and that's why I need to hear reports from you out there. I watch a lot of update type of stuff. I'll, a lot of times what I'll do in the morning is I go in, I get, we get to the office, I'll get video files uploading to my computer, start to edit them and, and then get them rendering. And then I'll go online, and there's a number of financial channels and channels that will update with prophecy type of stuff. And I'll listen to those, and I'll see, I'll check out, you know, what are they saying, what's the latest type of stuff, kind of get a little bit of a morning briefing. And what I do is I download those videos, convert them to MP3 files, and then I have an MP3 player. I've explained this before, but just for new people. And I put the audio onto the MP3 player, and then I go in and I'm, while I'm making breakfast or doing other things around the office, then I can listen to what's going on. So... Um, that's what I like to do, but, um, nothing beats, uh, firsthand, uh, you know, accounts that people have. Um, if you're from Russia, uh, what's going on over there? We can't believe American media. They're saying that we're winning the war, which we're clearly not in Ukraine. Um, well, not we, but the Ukrainian people are winning the war. You know, there's no American involvement at all. Yeah, right. Um, but what's going on? Uh, how are things going over there? Um, whatever country you're from, you don't have to put out, you know, in, in personal information or anything, obviously, but just say, yeah, that, you know, America's losing or whatever. We're seeing food shortages over here. We're seeing fuel costs go up. We're seeing fuel costs go down. Um, let me know. If you understand Bible prophecy, you understand where things are going, um, I'd really be curious to know uh, what you're thinking and what's going on. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Like I said, please leave your comments below. Food shortages, uh, crime increase, uh, gas price going up, um, whatever. Let me know. Thank you for watching.